vlogs. Uh, this is another pickup video. I am on my, uh, wow, this looks way better than, okay. Anyways, I'm on my new, one of my new pickups. It's my phone. Uh, it's a Galaxy Note 4. And this is supposedly 1080p, I don't know. Um, I'm sure it's a lot better than my, uh, my other one there. Um, I filmed this whole video last week and it completely screwed up. So I deleted it and I'm redoing it now. Um, I have a whole bunch of gaming stuff, a whole bunch of toys. Um, so let's get into it. I guess I'll do all the gaming stuff first. So if you don't like the toys, you can skip it. Toys as in like action figures and whatnot. But uh, the first game here, I got a Persona 4 Golden. Nintendo 24 talked me into getting this, um, and I'm glad he did because I'm gonna play it as soon as we finish uh, Final Fantasy X. But uh, yeah, it's basically a remaster of the uh, PS2 game Persona 4, which I do have and I played a little bit a long time ago, but I never finished it. So, and I thought, eh, 20 bucks, trophies, you know. Um, updated graphics, extra story, extra characters, supposedly, so why not? Um, I got a stack of Wii games here. Uh, Amazon is selling Wii games for really, really cheap, so I decided to get them, and the dog is staring at me and breathing like Darth Vader. Um, so I decided to, I'm going to bulk up my Wii collection and uh, keep them sealed because I'm just going to emulate them all on my computer, which that's another one of my pickups. I built a PC. Um, my first one I've ever built, I had a lot of fun with it, and I love it, it's great. Um, I've only had one problem, it was like a green screen, which I guess is kind of like the blue screen of death, but I fixed it. But anyways, um, sorry, dog look at her butt. Um, yeah, so I got this stack of Wii games that I'm going to keep sealed just for my collection, I'm not going to resell them or anything, and I'm going to emulate them on the computer. Um, cause supposedly you can upgrade the graphics to like early PS3 graphics. But uh, the first one I got here was Okami. Um, I already have this on the Wii, and I have it on PS3, but uh, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I love this game. I've never finished it because I couldn't handle the motion controls. But it was so cheap. I got it for like 15 bucks, so I figured why not just get me a sealed copy just for, for my own pleasure. Um, the next one here was Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, I have the uh, 3D version that I got free. It was a Platinum... Club Nintendo Platinum Rewards uh, prize last year, but uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I heard that's really hard, by the way. Um, this is one of my favorite shows of all time now, Transformers Prime, so I went ahead and just got the game just to have it, because if I had Beast Wars is my favorite show of all time, it's a, it's a generation of Transformers, and if I had that game sealed, that would be sweet, so I thought ahead with this one and got it. This game is probably bad, but I don't know. Um, new Super Mario Brothers Wii. I wish it was the red case, but oh well, it was cheap. So uh, yeah, I've never played this. Kirby's Epic Yarn, which this thing's got some weight to it. it must have a huge manual in it. I just burped. Sorry, it's the uh, N W. But uh, anyways, uh, I just beat my first Kirby game by the way, and it was great. So so yeah, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I'm pretty much just bulking up my collection with all the must-haves. Um, I'm thinking into the future. Um, if I had like all the Kirby games and Mario games and Donkey Kong and all that stuff sealed for from like the GameCube, that would be sweet. So I'm just thinking ahead and bulking the collection a little bit for future. Um, I'm actually gonna play this one by the way. Uh, Super Mario 3D World. I also got NCAA 14 with this, but I don't think you care about that. Um, I, this looks amazing, and I haven't tried it yet, and I really want to. I'm going to get to this eventually. The dogs will not leave me alone. I just got back from work, and they're all excited. Um, I got Ease, The Oath, and Felgana. Uh, this is sealed. And this is on Steam for like $10, so I might just leave this sealed and just buy it on there. Um, yes, I can Steam now. I can Steam. The dogs will not leave me alone. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways... I have all the Ease, well, all the premium editions on the uh, PSP now. Ease is a great series, by the way. Um, these aren't really gaming related, but kind of, I guess. I got uh, two like, Pokemon decks. I do like the Pokemon trading card game. It's really fun, and the cards are really cool. I'm not super, super, super into it. These were Valentine's presents. 
from my fiance, but those are pretty sweet. I got like a Charizard and a Rayquaza in those. Um, and here I have, these are uh, pre-order bonuses for the uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. They did not come out over here, so I had to get them from the PAL region. Uh, I have all the other pre-order figures from all the DS games, so I had to add these to the collection. This one was supposed to be sealed, but it's open. So this is what they look like. Pretty cool. But yeah, I love Pokemon, so I had to have them. And to go with those, this is something else we didn't get over here. Uh, these are the uh, limited editions yeah, of the games. Um, they come with a steel book. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, those are so sexy. Sexy is a term I'm using, yes. Let me turn this light on real quick. There, can you see better? There we go. Alright, now to my favorite gaming pickups I've gotten. Um, these were not hard for me to get, but they look—they seemed really hard to get online from what I've seen. Um, I got the uh, limited edition? Yeah. Limited edition of Zelda Majora's Mask. I need better lighting in here. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's got a Skull Kid figure in the game and everything. Um, I heard this sold out really fast. I happened to find out about it the day before it would actually open for pre-order, so I went to GameStop and uh, I asked him if it was available for pre-order yet. He said no tomorrow, which I had worked the next day, so I was kind of like, well, shit, you know. But uh, I went online and I found it on GameStop.com, but it wasn't available for pre-order yet. Like the option was still grayed out. So I bookmarked that page. This is just my my little tips. What I do, don't steal it from me. Uh, I bookmarked the page on my phone, and every you know 20, 30 minutes or so the next day at work, I would just refresh it and look at it and see if it was available. And as soon as that thing was clickable, I clicked that bitch. Sorry for my language. Um, yeah, so that's how I got this. Which I know not everyone can do that or thinks about doing that. Which that came with this, because like, I got the bundle. So I got the sweet strategy guide with it. And this, I actually just happened to be off the day it was announced. And uh, I went to GameStop. I have a GameStop like a minute from my house, or my apartment. And uh, I asked him if this was available for pre-order yet. He said, yes, today is the first day. So I didn't even watch Nintendo Direct. I just saw something on Facebook about it. I wasn't even sure if it was real. Like look into it first but um yeah it was real and uh he had already sold like two out of his ten i think his store was getting so uh no one was waiting in line or anything like a lot of places i heard but uh yeah he made me pay for it all down right then and uh a lot of places didn't do that apparently because somebody said they only had to pay like fifty dollars for it i had to pay the full 200 right there which sucked but I'm glad I got my hands on one of these because these things are like ridiculous on eBay now. Scalpers, you can suck a big testicle. Anyways, uh, I think that's all the gaming stuff. Um, I guess I can talk about my computer real quick. Uh, it has 8 gigs of RAM, uh, LG, Blu-ray, DVD, CD drive, uh, 9 USB ports, which is crazy. I think half of them are 3.0. Um, I bought a new 22 inch 1080p uh, monitor, which this is what the double setup looks like. I don't know if you can see it. And yes, I know they're not the same brand, so don't make fun of me. But um, what else does she have in her? She has a. I keep saying she. Um, I'm trying to think, what did I put in it? I don't know, I can't think of it right now. 8 gigs of RAM, 3 terabyte hard drive, 128 gigabyte SSD. Um, I don't remember what the motherboard is, it's some kind of anniversary motherboard. Um, the graphics card is a For the Win edition. Um, I don't know, I can't think of it anymore. It glows blue, it's pretty. Uh, but yeah, my first build, and I love it. Clicking the uh, battery down. Here's the first toy I'm going to show. It is uh, Autobot Cosmos and Payload. I do love Transformers, so I do collect these. Um, I'm not like hardcore, like 
pay a million dollars for them or anything, but this was on sale at Walmart for six or seven dollars, and it's like 15 on, on Amazon, so I swiped it. Pretty cool. Uh, Arachnid, I don't know if you've seen Transformers Prime, if you haven't, you're missing out. Uh, she's kind of a, a B-word in that show. Um, she's always trying to kill RC and stuff, and uh, she's one of those characters that's like not very loyal to anyone. Like she's just loyal to herself. Like she turns on her own team. Pretty sure she kills one of the characters in it. Sorry if I spoiled that. You don't know who it is though. This next one, this is a uh, Waspinator, the Generations version. He is from Beast Wars. Um, he's a really funny character. He's always messing up and like he's really klutzy and always dying. He's like the Kenny of Beast Wars. <laughs> he's always like losing his head and stuff. Um, which is why they kept him around. They never killed him off because the fans loved him so much because he was so funny. But uh, this is a really cool character. It's way more show ac accurate than uh, the original one that came out in the 90s. But yeah, that is that is a really good figure. Next one here is Windblade. Uh, she's interesting because she she was actually created by fans. Um, like the fans voted for what she would have and they voted for the sword and like what kind of vehicle she would be if it was a male or female Autobot Decepticon. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's a comic in here that tells her story. I don't know a lot about her like her personality or anything, but I just know she's fan made, so I wanted to add her to the collection because I'm pretty sure it's the first figure for her. And this next one here, uh, it's Leonardo. Um, the Nickelodeon line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the new show, um, they re-released a bunch of the old lines. Like, this is the 1988 line. They also re-released, um, I think the 90s or, or early, early 2000s line. I can't remember. I think it was the 90s one. But uh, that one's expensive. But they also released uh, the the movie, movie Turtles from the 1990 movie. I can't remember what year it came out. But uh, this is the 88 line, and I'm missing two of them. I'm missing Shredder and Splinter. But uh, this group of six that I have right here, I got at Toys R Us for $10 each. Um, so pretty much the price of a new video game. I got these figures, and they're like $150 on eBay. Not that I'm going to sell them, but I was wanting these, and I was hoping I found them, and I found them at uh, Toys R Us. So here's Leonardo. A lot of you probably had these as kids, so it's really cool that they re-released them, because I had them when I was younger. Here is Raphael. Here is Michelangelo. Donatello. And the back looks pretty cool, too. They actually redid the comic that was on the original 1988 figures. Uh, Foot Soldier. I want the party bus too, but it's like so expensive now. That bus right there. But uh, here's Krang, which I had the big like robot dude, and Krang like went in his stomach. I don't have that anymore though, I had it when I was a kid. And I found this at Toys R Us, it was really cheap, it was on sale. It's uh, Lord Zed. Uh, if you watch the Power Rangers from like the 94 series or whenever it came out, 92, 93, somewhere in the early 90s, um, he was one of the villains. So that is a really cool figure to get. There's a bunch more, but I didn't want any of the other ones because I already have most of them in the SH figure art line, which is way better. But uh, yeah, Lord Zed, it's pretty cool. And the last thing here is the thing I am filming on right now. It is a uh, Galaxy Note 4. Um, I hope this video quality comes out a lot better than my other videos have. Um, if not, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to do something so that my videos will be okay. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. No, wait. One more thing. I got the uh, white edition of the uh, GameCube controller for the Wii U. Um, once again, it's in a Japanese box. I showed the black one last time, I think. Uh, this is the other version, and it's only available in Japan. And it's a really good piece of the collection. I probably won't use it because I already have GameCube controllers I can use. And this thing is just sexy on the wall. So, uh... Oh, wait. Amiibos. I got a bunch of Amiibos. I got Fox, Captain Falcon, Zelda, Sheik, Toon Link, Bowser, Shulk, 
King D D D D D D D D D D D D uh, Ike, Meta Knight, Mega Man, Sonic, Donkey Kong, and Diddy. Um, I think I, you can see them right here. Uh, that's how many I have. I think there's 23 over there. Um, I can't remember which ones I showed in my last video, and I didn't want to take them all down. I just have a stack of I need those over here. But uh, yeah, I did get all of those. If you want to know about any of them, you can ask me or look it up, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's the Amiibo collection for right now. Hopefully it gets bigger. And uh, I guess that's the end of this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. We forgot a pickup here. It's these four Transformers right here. It is the uh, the sequel season, the sequel series to the uh, Transformer Prime, Transformers Prime series. Can't talk right now. But uh, yeah, these are the. This is the first wave of the uh, Warrior class. We got Bumblebee, Grimlock, Strongarm, and Steeljaw. And then there is underbite right there but yeah i just forgot to show those so in case anybody cares i just there you go see you later